Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to do a field test of this IAR upper that I put together about a year ago. This has an 18 inch barrel, the superlative arms piston kit, the Knight's armament heavy handguard that's designed as a heat sink. What I'd like to do today is just a function test. We'll see how it's gassed. If we need to adjust it, we'll adjust the piston system. Right now, I have it in the neutral position. It's neither restrictive or in the bleed off position. So it's fully opened. We also have the Magpul PRS stock with a rifle length uh, buffer tube and a rifle buffer system. Besides the function test, I'd like to go ahead and see what kind of muzzle velocities we're getting out of this 18 inch barrel. So we'll use some 77 grain and some 62 grain ammunition for that. We also have Tim out here today to help us with this evaluation. All right, so what we want to do now is look at muzzle velocity. We're going to start with M193 55 grain full metal jacket ammo. 3375. 33.44. 33.46. 33.82. 33.66. 3372, 3393, 3370, 3340, 30, sorry, that was 3401, 3357, 3398. Nice. So, so this 18 inch Bear Creek Arsenal uh, barrel is really giving us some nice velocities with those light 55 grain rounds. Okay, so now we have the uh, M855 62 grain full metal jacket. Let's see how this does muzzle velocity wise. 3113. 3158. 3174. 3204. Hit the camera. 3220. That's it. Alright, that's very respectable velocities. All right, now we have the 77 grain open tip match from Black Hills. 2880. 2828. 2848. 2812. 28. Let's see, that was 2851. And we're clear. Okay, Tim's going to try a five shot group with this uh, 77 grain ammo. Now we've only got a two and a half power scope on here. And we're just shooting at the 50 yard zero target. So we're just at 50 yards. Let's see what it looks like though. Go ahead. Now, one thing I did want to comment on too, this gun as it stands is gassed well. So the gas port size appears to be appropriate uh, using the rifle buffer system. And the brass is coming out about four o'clock. Very consistent. It's about 3.30. About 3.30. Clear. All right, let's see what kind of group we got with that. Well, we're going to need to break in that barrel. Uh, that's not a great group at all, especially considering the ammo that we're using. Let's cover that up and try it again. All right, five shot group with 77 grain ammo.
Okay, the upper is functioning well. This barrel doesn't seem to like 77 grain ammo at all. It's windy out here, but not windy enough to explain this kind of group. So what I plan to do is we'll break in the barrel some more, and then we'll take this upper out and try several different bullet weights and see if we can't find a round that'll perform better than what we're seeing here. The upper that we put together seems to be functioning really well with the superlative arms piston kit on it. We have good muzzle velocities from the different ammo that we tried today. Accuracy is still an issue. We want to break the barrel in a little bit and come back out and do some shooting and see what kind of accuracy we can get. So we're going to work on that in the future and see what we can do. If you have any questions or comments, please post those and I'll try to respond to those in a timely fashion. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. We have good muzzle velocities from the different ammo that we tried today. Acre is act. And I'll try to respond to those in a timely fashion. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. The fly landed on my glasses. <laughs> you need a bloopers video. <laughs>